Uh, break, yeah, it's been nice. Nice time to regroup. Um, we had a busy schedule of games, and we've got you know a, a tougher and longer stretch of games now. So you know to to find a bit of time to regroup and and um, clear our heads is always nice. Yeah, the boys are in a good place. Um, you know, we've come off the back of a good result. It's always nice to go into the international break after a good win. And uh, you know, the boys have been brilliant, really. It's just start the season. We've been unfortunate not to get a few results, I think, as well. And now, hopefully, it's all coming together. But we're, we're going to need this confidence. We're going to need this togetherness going into this, uh, this next group of games, this new, next cluster of games. I'm enjoying it. Uh, that, that's, um, you know, I've worked on a manager before. Um, a slightly diff different philosophy from when, when we last worked together, but same principles. Uh, love the change room, great set of boys. Um, you know, the fans have really welcomed me, I've loved it. My kids come and watch every week, so, you know, for me to go out there, put the shirt on, play in front of, you know, play in front of that stadium and the boys, and, and it's nice to see the results change, of course, but, um, you know, ultimately, whether I'm in the team or not, the, it's, it's, it's the team and the club that come first. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, Kids don't overly play football, but you know, coming to watch it is is uh, something they enjoy doing on a Saturday. So, you know, that was one of the main reasons I, you know, I joined, um, you know, continue to play. Uh, and it's amazing now we're getting results, and, and the older they're getting, and, and they're getting more familiar with the, the club themselves. They absolutely love the club. So, you know, everyone, all the hospitality and everyone around it, the boys have been fantastic, and and all the staff, so no, it's amazing really, going out there and they were mascots against Rotherham as well, so there I say it, they're going to have to be mascots again I think, if that continues. So fully on board as Watford fans? Fully on board now, yeah, yeah, the, they're Hornets, that, that is it, they're done. I think we had to revert back to um, being hard to beat and being uh, that solid team and having a platform to work off of. Um, you know, we've got some great quality in there, but um, there's no good having quality in a team when you're 2-0 down, 3-0 down, which is what we were finding ourselves in, in predicaments. Um, I think, you know, it seems like we've got more of a solid base now, and then we work off of that platform, which has you know, sort of done us well in the last cluster of games. Um, we want to keep improving. As you say, we've got double sessions today and we'll have throughout the week. Uh, but most importantly, you know, the boys want to learn, want to listen and want to, want to carry on engaging. And, and, Hopefully, you know, come this next time we talk like this, we'll, we'll have another few points on the table. Think about it from a young age, and I think you just grow into it. I think it's just something that's either... I mean, I can't stop talking on the pit. It's just whether it's a training, whether it's a, a, a match, match day. You know, I'll just find myself wanting to help. Um, you know, perhaps one day I'll go into coaching young players, or what, I don't know, but... For the time being, I just um, there's nothing like that winning feeling and helping someone or helping your teammate. You know, once once that whistle goes, that's for 90 minutes you've got that bond. And you know, we always say before a game can be a header, can be a running behind, can be a first touch, could be calmness on the ball. It doesn't always have to be. Uh, you know, there's so many more ways of leading, and it can just be bringing a, a different calmness to the team, which is which is a, a bravery in itself. Um, but hopefully we've got that nice balance now and the manager's found a formula and we found a bit of a formula as a team and as a squad. I mean, it was great the other day to see a few of the boys come off the bench and score. Um, great to see Reese Healy back on the pitch again because he's been fantastic and waited his chance. Um, you know, Tom Ince again wasn't involved the other week and then comes on and scores. I mean, that's what, that's what this football club should be about and that's what a team's all about. Um, I think the manager is embedding in that and I think all the boys are on board and, and, and we need to be. If we're going to have any sort of success, which is why I've joined here, we need to all be on board. This, is, this next period is going to be huge for us. It's huge for us. Um, and we're ready for it. You know, we're here, we're working. It's not going to be easy. We know it's not. We're going to have tough times. We know that. We're going to be, this times it's going to be difficult for the fans to watch, us to watch, players who are not playing to watch. That's all part of football. You've got to ride those emotions and, and, uh, you know, hopefully together as a team, as a club, as a squad, um, as a whole football club, we, we come for it stronger. But, you know, we're, we're more than ready for the fight in that change room. Fantastic. Thanks for speaking with me. Top man. Thank you. Anytime.